That's not gonna work. Thanks to Matt Bicker at DIY Europe for converting these drawings into these metal pictures what I can cut out. And if you're interested in one of these, the link will be in the description where you can purchase these cut files. So what I need to do now is tack weld these two together, base and pin them all. I'll grime around the outside so they're all nice and flush and lovely. I'm just about to drill this pivot hole and I'm going to use some, some of this bronze as a bushing so it's a bit less resistant and I've also brought this forward so it doesn't stick out as much. bronze bushings are press fit in there now and it helps it slide nicely and I was going to pin this together with a bit of spacing what, what I'm going to do is make some collars to stand it off so I'm going to go do that now Got the jaws all together and I made this little pin thing here with some cotter pins and some washers. I was messing around with this yesterday to get it right to get the angle right. It's a bit more square so I can weld the jaws on there and then I'll have to put some um, strengthening plates in as well. So now I need to score this so I can fold it.
So I've marked out where the handle's gonna go. I'm gonna drill it through first with this 5.5 to align it. And then I'll use a 30 mil hole cutter so that I can slot this through and TIG weld it in place. I've got all this together now and I can't quite clench my fist when I'm when my hands in there, so I'm gonna cut a slot out here and uh, TIG weld this in place so I have a bit of a dome on top and enough room for my fist to fit. When I cut the tubular mesh, I squished it down a bit and then I cut an angle on this so when I weld them together, there won't be any gaps. After 6,000 hours of tantrums and throwing it in the bin and deciding I was going to do something else, I finally came up with a plan. I'm going to weld this on the front of here as like a support brace. These will bend back and weld onto those, which I've thickened up as well. I guess I'll go do that now, now that I've calmed down. Dispersed. Obviously I switched up my idea again and I'm just going to put a plate across the front and then put the return separately just so I can fuse this front bit to there before welding the return and because I couldn't get it to go right. After welding the front brace on, I decided to weld these on and what they're going to do is support the arm slice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have about a 40mm piece of this which will go and sit on my arm there with a bit of padding on the inside and then these will brace to it. All the supports are now welded on, it's a nice snug fit and now I need to cut this out of some steel so I can make like a raised shield over to the plasma cutter I say. I've got the shield all fitted up now. I just added some spaces here to make it stand off. I'm going to TIG weld these together and then I can shorten the thread. I'm going to use some of these dome nuts for the top. You said dome nuts? Off camera, I welded a spare brace across here. And what I need to do now is get the jaws on the front so that I can line the ram and then it's time for the electrics, I think. So I guess I should do some more TIG welding. I've got the jaws welded on nicely now. I did uh, two layers, give it a bit more strength. And I've cut these out on the plasma table. This is going to go as a back support to pin it to, and I'll have to weld that on later. And then these are going to be the front that'll pin to the actuator. So I'm going to turn down some aluminium, which will slot in there. I'll TIG weld round the outside. So let's go to the lathe, shall we?
pins are now drilled on the front. This is where it's going to sit. And now I need to weld the back bracket on. I managed to get it all together, but it was tearing this part. Obviously it's only three mil. So I've cut some more slabs now in six mil. Which will work better if the camera focuses. I've actually had to change a few bits. I've had to weld it in with a, a bit of a support block there. I've welded a six mil plate on the front because it was bowing the three mil that I had. And I also had to TIG weld this back on because it had ripped that off. What I need to do now is make an enclosure for this button. But I want to be able to stick my thumb out and access the button without any bars getting in the way. So I guess we'll do the enclosure now. Pretty pleased with my little buttonhole. And then I've also got this tube which has finally arrived, which will I need to cut down and then that will slot over the top of there and then I'll have to fit an end cap. So I guess back to the welder. One of the greatest things about this plasma machine is it's got a camera and you can scan it in and convert it into a cut. So you don't have to mess around with CAD. So now I'm gonna cut it. Now I need to cut these slots out, so it'll slot over. Now starts a long old slog of adding all the wiring. Probably put it in behind the, behind the cage, just for safety. You know, in case you get attacked by a sparrow or something. So I'll do a little montage of that. Probably not all of it. It's probably gonna take me all day. I picked up some of these nine volt battery boxes. I couldn't get a double one, so I'm gonna have to build a double one and then put a different plug on there so it looks a bit better. <laughs>
This is camel boner. Bye bye camels. This was probably the biggest project that I've come up with, but I think it's good for the future and I hope you all enjoy this. I know it's not as powerful as a hydraulic one, but I generally just wanted it to be man packable. I just wanted everything all in one block and it works as well as expected. If you wanna see more big builds like this, then don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And if you wanna support more, then check out my Patreon. Everything's linked in the description, also on my website where I sell everything that I make. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you when I do another video.